Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another Friday evening, Saturday morning for me, live stream here from Japan. I hope everyone's having a, uh, a good end to their week. I'm starting my weekend off with you guys. How's everybody doing? You know, uh, last week somebody made a comment about uh, how I start every live stream with uh, taking a sip of coffee. Today we're going to start the live stream with making a cup of coffee. Uh, I do find that it's interesting that there's such a correlation between coffee lovers and denim lovers. So you guys can rate my coffee making style and uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. And you know, for the question of the day, uh, how do you take your coffee? Let me know in the comments section below. So, without any further ado. Uh, let's let's get to making this cup of coffee. We're going to be joined today uh, by Carl. I, I keep yeah Matrix News. No update yet. Uh, that that's a question that comes by every week. Um, as soon as I'm, I've got the the real good thumbs up. I will give you some updates on that one. Um, so, anyways, let's take a look at some Fall Winter 21 previews, and we'll start with the King of Lords, which is right here. And, and last week, I showed off this fabric in jean form, showing it off here in denim jacket form. Um, so, this is our, our combination of the King of Slub uh, yarn and the Lord of Nep yarn. So, we've got a beautiful, super slubby denim. In fact, the slubbiest denim ever. Look at look at how thick those yarns are, combined with the neppiest denim ever. I mean, this jacket looks like it's been like if you've been ever been in a snowstorm. <laughs> this is it. Um, and you take a look on the inside. So you've got this really beautiful knotted yarn. That has a lot of texture here. Now, this jacket is rinse washed, so it will come. Uh, it is an unsamphrized denim that will come rinse washed for production. The reason why we rinse wash this denim is because it is not. You cannot samphrize this denim. Um, in the samphrization process, there is uh, there's fire basically involved that singes the surface of the denim. That gets rid of the hairiness. It also heats up the fabric, helps with the shrinking process. And uh, if you were to put this through that process, you would burn uh, these neps pretty badly. I mean, you probably wouldn't burn them off, but they would get burned. So it, it would not look pretty. So this denim is unsamphorizable. You cannot do it. Uh, but the problem there becomes the shrink rate on this denim because of the loose weave and the looseness of the yarns is it's huge. It's, it's like size up three, size up four. It would be impossible. So. We can't sell you a garment like that. That would be uh, it. Would be too much of a guessing game. So we 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 rinse wash the garment so we we can get the shrink out of it right away. You know, we grade the pattern so that we know how much it's it's going to shrink. So it comes out to the right uh, you know garment size after after everything is all uh, said and done. Um, so you get a rinse washed denim. There's still plenty of indigo in this garment it's just not going to be particular it's still heavy it's just not particularly rigid it's it's still pretty rigid i mean you know it, it still holds its shape but uh maybe not as much as a as a as a fully raw uh jacket would but uh that is the king of lords this is coming out fall winter 21 uh you'll notice the uh the salvage id here on the inside of the jacket as well um and then that uh I think for production, that is going to be a thicker leather patch. That, that's not the right patch. Um, yeah, so this is coming out very soon. Price, um, let me double check. Not, this one will not be inexpensive. This one is going to be very pricey. Um, sorry about that. I, I, I do apologize. Um, I wish all of our prices could be low, but they are as low as they can be, I'll tell you that much. Um, there's not a lot of, there's no, in fact, there's no fluff in our pricing. The price is, is, is pretty reflective of the, the, the cost of, of what it takes to make that. Um, hold on. I'm just double checking the price on that jacket here. And, uh, I will also let you know about the other one. So the, uh, the King of Lords denim jacket 
Five forty. So this one is this one is a pricey one. Um, yeah, the the fabric was the king of slob was unbelievably hard to make. The lord of nap was unbelievably hard to make. You mix them together, it makes just a nightmare scenario for uh, for price. Um, so it is very very expensive, and uh, it is what it is. It, this is going to be. You know, for the uh, for the enthusiast, the jeans will be four twenty eight. So the the most expensive jean of the season is the King of Lords. Um, so uh, there you have it. Um, How is the texture compared to the Sakiori? Um, I would compare it, but I don't have a Sakiori denim here to compare to. Uh, I, I will I will try to make a comparison at some point. Um, Love my corduroy jacket from from y'all. Thanks very much. I'm I'm planning on doing some stretch corduroys for the fall, just like a small production. So I, I'm I was working on that the other day. So uh, we had some fabric left over. Let's see, fabric left over from a uh, from a denim jacket that we did a few seasons ago, and uh, I'm just gonna make some uh, some 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 cords with that so it'll be available in the super weird and easy guys so that we'll, we'll have a small injection of that in in the fall um i, I like cords i'm uh, i do enjoy cords i want to make brand is not going to let me do this but maybe i'll, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll see i want to make brown flared corduroys uh i just i just want it just feels like such a 70s thing to do um so yeah, uh, what clothes will they come in? Navy. So I, I have a dark navy, uh, and let me tell you that corduroys. We've we've done them here and there throughout our history, and they've always done. People say they like them, and then when it comes to buying them, it's it's another story. So it's just one of those things where the demand doesn't seem to me like really come. So. Uh, yeah, I want to make them. I just, I just feel like the amount of customers who want to buy them just don't. They're not there to fulfill the 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 production of them. Um, still got my trunks jacket. Wish I sized down, but trying to make it work. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, you, you know, as as someone who's put on a lot of, I, every week I talk about my weight. I, I'm sure it's annoying by now. I put on a lot of weight in the last while, and I have a less and less stuff that fits me. So uh, believe me, I, I feel you. Um, okay, let's take a look next at the Okayama Spirit 5 jacket. This one's going to retail for $2.90. Um, Okayama Spirit 5, denim jacket. Here you have it. Big slub. So just like the Okayama Spirit 4, this is a big slub sanferized denim. Um, you know, in in the past, we've done Okayama Spirits that were unsanferized. We, we're doing them sanferized uh, just because it, it's a little bit easier for you guys to size with these. But we're, we're still preserving that crazy amount of texture. You can see here just how beautiful and slubby this is. What we have in the Oak Island Spirit 5 is, you know, a super dark denim indigo with a black weft. So black on the inside, indigo on the outside. And you can see that that black shows through, you know, the 12 lines here. So it makes a very, very dark, uh, you know, it makes for a very, very dark garment. What's really nice about a black or a dark colored weft is that you get a beautiful contrast when the warp fades because the warp is going to fade really really bright blue and then you'll have a black undertone showing through so it'll be a it'll make the garment look even more contrasty um you've got the black mil spec non-reflective buttons black leather patch and uh on our denim jackets if, if you don't know we do these stealth pockets here on the side so um you know, right here in on the theme. Oftentimes you'll see denim jackets with a welt pocket. I don't like the way that looks. I really like having this clean pocket here. This is something that a lot of customers asked us for um, because our, our denim jackets 
previously did not come with side pockets. It was it was it was one of the things that people complained about the most. It also increased the price by like fifty bucks. So uh, our denim jackets are more expensive than they used to be because of that. But uh, because we added those welt pockets, we were also able to add inside pockets. So uh, you 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 get that as well. Um, the weight on the Okama Spirit Five. Let me double check here. Uh, sixteen ounces. So so pretty heavy. Sixteen ounce on the Okama Spirit Five at two ninety retail. Um, stealth pockets and bucket pockets are the best. I do appreciate like on our on our denim jacket. So you will see we've got the bucket pockets on the inside here and the stealth pockets on the outside there. So uh, let's move on. We've got the Vulgar Selvage 3. This one's a lot of fun. Um, now, can you talk Fall Winter 21? I am talking Fall Winter 21, my man. Uh, so this is another Fall Winter 21 item, Vulgar Selvage 3. So our same 12 and a half ounce short slub denim. This is this is the same base we, we, we've used before, but uh, if you missed out on the Vulgar 2, or uh, you want to have a little bit more fun, these ones, we uh, we kind of remove the sensor on this. And uh, check this one out. This one is a, a lot of fun. Um, you can uh, read that for yourself. I, I just don't want to repeat that in case there's some, uh, you know, issues on the internet with the saying nasty words. But uh, that's what we got on the Vulgar Selvage 3. You know, a, a beautiful 12 and a half ounce denim short slub. So you can see that it's, it's got a nice streakiness to it. Not a lot of, uh, you know, extreme texture to it, though. And, uh, you know, you've got this little bit of nep detail here on the inside. Um, after you show the jackets, any new flannels like last year's amazing triple twist ones? Um, I can show the flannels up next uh, video. Uh, I just don't. I just don't have that all like lined up and ready for uh, right now. I'm, like my samples are kind of like they're in boxes, so it'll it'll not so accessible. Um, so yeah, this is the Bulger Selvage Three. Sorry, let me just switch this around again. See if I can. I'm not gonna be able to put this on well with uh, one hand. Ah, uh, gotta adjust my shirt and stuff, but whatever. You can uh, get the idea here. We've got uh, a nice to-the-waist denim jacket, nice pockets here on the side, and then the bucket pocket on the inside. And then, yeah, you can uh, you can flip that out and, and flip someone off. Okay, next, we've got Elephant X. So this is Indigo by gray for production oh no actually you can see it here we've got this kind of chromed out selvage id so i wanted to go like space gray with this one so you've got like this space gray interior chromed out selvage id dark indigo warp and like i was saying with the okayama spirit that darker tone weft makes it so that when the indigo here fades, it'll become really, really bright because the contrast will be so high. And uh, so I, I, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to the way this fabric fades. And the, the, the sample wasn't, uh, didn't have the button put on. Um, but the buttons are, uh, are new. This is a new button that we did, uh, new material. So it's a little bit more, um, we call it like a brushed steel. Um, it's 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 shiny and and matte at the same time. So uh, I don't know how to explain it better than that. Um, under some 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 lights, it's it's matte. Under some light, it's a little bit shiny. But uh, you can see it here. That is a uh, a new uh, 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 metal type that we're using for the buttons for this uh, for this fabric. Um, this is 19 ounces, based on the Elephant One construction so the elephant one the elephant two were very similar um the elephant one was 19 ounces the elephant two was 20 20 ounces 21 ounces um 21 ounces i'm pretty sure so this is a throwback to the first elephant denim with uh with a kind of a a, a gray theme overall 
Um, I just got the Dark Knight Salvage. I love the gray more than I thought I would. The yellow and gray is a perfect match to the 90s Batman colors. That's right. So yeah, the gray weft, I think it's very, I think it's really nice. Anyways, we're, 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 we're moving, we're, we're continuing with that idea onto the uh, Elephant X. Um, okay, let's take a look at the final denim jacket of the season. This is the Elephant 9. Um, let me let me just uh, double check the price for you guys before you ask me, um, because that question is going to come up. This one's another pricey one, five ninety five. So this one's up there. I mean, kind of within our our Mij denim jacket kind of price point. Um, let's take a look. Mij nine. Look at that denim. Very hairy, as you can see. And what you're going to notice mostly is how streaky this denim is. So loose weave, not the loosest I've seen. Salvage, of course. But what makes this denim special is this streakiness. Now, the way we're able to achieve this is by using two different batches of natural indigo dye. So as a result, you have a, a beautiful variation of indigo colors. Some are dark, some are light, some are in between. And the idea is that this kind of looks like a hand dyed denim um, and with or hand dyed yarn. Uh, denim made from hand dyed yarn. The, the l let me tell you why or how you can tell that it's it's not actually uh, done with hand dyed yarns is because when you look at the yarn itself here uh let's try to get a good example clear one at least you can see that the streaks they stay like it's the same color along the same uh line so the warp yarn here is the same color now on a hand dyed yarn you see that line goes all the way down on a hand dyed yarn the way they dye it is they take the, the cotton yarn and they twist it into a bunch. It's called a hank. And they dip it into the vat of indigo. They pull it out. They let it dry. And they're doing this by hand. So they're pulling it out. They're wringing it. They're, they're dipping it back in. But the yarns from the outside of the hank absorb different amounts of indigo than the yarns from the inside of the hank. So when you unravel it, you'll get a, a gradation of, of indigo hues throughout the yarn. So when you weave with that, you'll see along the same strand of warp, on the fabric, you'll get a color gradation. This one, you don't get that gradation so much. So you can you'll get that streakiness that you would get, you know, from a hand dyed denim, but uh, but uh, it's not quite exactly the same. I mean, this is I would say high level denim knowledge. You know, if, if someone were to show you this fabric and say, you know, it's hand dyed, you could you could turn around and be like, no, it's not. Uh, actually, um, but uh, it does have a similar look to it. And regardless, it is a very beautiful denim. You can see just how uh, much uh, uh, detail there is in this fabric, ignoring the cat hair, of course. It, it doesn't It doesn't come with free cat hair. Uh, the, the cats in my house provide that uh, to the samples for free. Um, have you ever considered uh, Dyneema jeans? Yes, we, we have. Um, you can actually get the all conditions denim, which is available right now, and uh, they they contain Dyneema yarns. Um, so yeah, that is the Mij Nine. Other details you'll notice about the Mij Nine are our custom iron buttons. These buttons are all one hundred percent iron. Iron on the cap, iron here in the middle, and iron on the back as well. All 100% iron. So just like the jeans will fade, or the denim will fade, the iron buttons will oxidize and rust over time. So everything about this denim is designed to age and wear. You've got the maple leaf embroidery on the chest pocket, dual chest uh, pockets on the front. You've got the side pockets here, the, uh, you know, the stealthy side pockets here on the side, as well as the bucket pockets on the inside, salvage ID along the, uh, the inside of the jacket here. So that is the MIJ9. That is all of the denim jackets for the Fall Winter 21 collection. And Fall Winter 21 is coming sooner than it 
I mean, it, 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 all of these seasons, you know, start creeping up on me real quick. We were, uh, I, I've already started talking to some retailers about spring, summer 22. We're still, you know, shipping spring, summer 21 and uh, releasing spring, summer 21. Uh, anyway, I'm going to look into that recycled denim. I don't know why, you know, what happened there. I'm going to have to double check on that. There's also um, Rick and Morty. Uh, coming out very, very soon. It's a lot of great releases happening uh, this month. Um, and uh, then we're going to get into the summer. Uh, and, and we'll probably have some early fall, winter releases coming out, you know, probably even as early as late July, August. So coming very soon. Can someone summarize the details of the MIJ9 again? Uh, made using two different kinds of natural indigo. So diff two different batches of natural indigo dye were used to make that denim to get that streaky look uh price for the mij9 jeans let me double check here for you um again this is going to be a little bit pricier than our regular collection 376 on the mij9 jeans 595 dollars on the denim jacket um so yeah, two types of natural indigo dye, um, and uh, yeah, so th that's uh, that's your MIJ nine. Um, um, okay, picking up pickle Rick and Portal. Can't wait! I can't wait to release them. Um, all right, so guys, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it at that for today. Uh, I'm gonna pass on snack time because I don't have any snacks, and uh, I should I should be watching snacks that I eat. But I did make some coffee with you guys earlier in the live stream. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for tuning in for another Saturday morning for me, Friday evening for most of you probably live stream here on Instagram. If you're watching this on the replay, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, the question of the day was, how do you take your coffee? Let me know. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Thank you guys for hanging out. I will see. Oh, yeah. Brown Fox comes out next week. So much, so much stuff. Um, I'll, uh, ne next week, we'll have some snack time. Later, guys.